This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first date for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, how many calories are there in one gram of carbohydrates or protein? Answer, there are 4 kcal in one gram of carbohydrates or protein. Question, how many calories are there in one gram of alcohol? Answer, there are 7 kcal in one gram of alcohol. Question, how many calories are there in one gram of fatty acid? Answer, there are 9 kcal in one gram of fatty acid. Question, is there a general rule for how many calories are in each gram of macronutrient? Answer, the number of calories per gram of macronutrient is different. One gram of carbohydrate or protein contains 4 kcal. One gram of alcohol contains 7 kcal and one gram of fatty acid contains nine kcal. Question, how many calories are there in a gram of carbohydrate and a gram of protein? Answer, there are four kcal in a gram of both carbohydrate and protein. Question, is there a difference in the number of calories between carbohydrate and protein? Answer, no, there is no difference in the number of calories between carbohydrate and protein. Both contain four kcal per gram. Question, how does the calorie content of alcohol compare to carbohydrates and proteins? Answer, the calorie content of alcohol is higher than carbohydrates and proteins. Alcohol contains 7 kcal per gram while carbohydrates and proteins both contain 4 kcal per gram. Question, is fatty acid higher in calorie content compared to alcohol? Answer, yes, fatty acid is higher in calorie content compared to alcohol. Fatty acid contains 9 kcal per gram while alcohol contains 7 kcal per gram. Question, how does the calorie content of fatty acids compare to carbohydrates and proteins? Answer, the calorie content of fatty acids is higher than carbohydrates and proteins. Fatty acids contain 9 kcal per gram while carbohydrates and proteins both contain 4 kcal per gram. Question, can you summarize the calorie content of different macronutrients? Answer, the calorie content of different macronutrients is as follows. Carbohydrates and proteins contain 4 kcal per gram. Alcohol contains 7 kcal per gram and fatty acids contain 9 kcal per gram. Question, how does the calorie content of different macronutrients affect our metabolism? Answer, the calorie content of different macronutrients affects our metabolism by providing different amounts of energy. The body uses the energy from these macronutrients to perform various functions and maintain homeostasis. Question, is the calorie content of macronutrients the only factor that affects our metabolism? Answer, no, the calorie content of macronutrients is not the only factor that affects our metabolism. Other factors such as the type and amount of exercise, stress levels, and hormonal imbalances also play a role in regulating our metabolism. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.